Hey guys, what's up? It's your old pal CHH here, your local Freddy fanatic. We're looking at a really cool classic Freddy Krueger toy with a great story. But to review, we've looked at things like the Freddy Fright Squirter, we looked at Freddy's Greatest Hits, the vinyl, and we even looked at the Nightmare Ripoff toys, Sharpan Joe and Nightmare Fetty. Be sure to check that video out if you haven't seen it. Since that video, I have acquired my Sharpan Joe shirts, and I'm rocking them at every livestream occasion. Now the subject of today's video is the Max FX Freddy from A Nightmare on Elm Street put out by Matchbox. Odds are you've probably seen this figure on the internet, a picture, maybe you've seen a video where somebody's unboxing it, but there's a really interesting story behind the Max FX Freddy and why this figure is somewhat sought after. Our story starts with a gentleman named Mel Burnkrant. Now, Mel is an American toy designer and legendary Mickey Mouse collector and other toys that are pre-World War II. He is famous for his creations of toys such as the Outer Space Man and Babyface. Mel had come up with the idea of the Max FX line because he was aware that kids really loved horror movies and monster movies, but he wanted to approach them in the way that parents would feel safe about their kids buying toys related to such scary characters. So he created the character of Max, a man who would act in the vein of a superhero, but gather the powers of whichever character he would portray by putting on their costume. This would give parents the impression that their kids would understand that these characters were simply costumes that a human being puts on, just like in the movies. Mel would soon strike a deal with Matchbox Toys, who loved the idea and would soon plan a line of characters that we would all know from movies. Now, if you're familiar with the Nightmare on Elm Street Matchbox Talking Freddy, it's very important to the story we're about to tell. Now, our toy maker Mel recalls being absolutely heartbroken when he learned about a Freddy doll that was marketed for kids that would talk to them. He knew right away that parents would absolutely be devastated by this and want the product removed from store shelves. At the time, the Dream Child had just hit theaters, and it's possible that from Matchbox's perspective, they thought that everybody was watching those movies and that kids loved Freddy. But from Mel's side of things, he was right in the sense that he knew that parents would revolt of a child killer doll being available for kids. And he was exactly right. The protests began and parents were trying to boycott the toy while also trying to boycott the toy line. It would be the beginning of the end for Freddy and Matchbox. The boycotts, protests, and bad publicity would basically kill the Mad FX line, with Freddy Krueger being the only official Mad FX figure released to date. What should have been an innovative and great line that would be parent-friendly and kids would love would die a quick and sad death. But fortunately, there is a good ending to this story. Check this out. On Mel's personal blog, which I'll share the link to in the description, he showed some images from the prototypes he would have for his old Mad FX line. He had some really cool designs, and the Frankenstein, Dracula, and Alien shown are really cool. It's just a shame that these never hit market. They would have been huge successes. It gets even cooler when in a video interview he did, which I'll share the link for that in the description, we got to see more prototypes that he was creating with some really elaborate designs. But the kicker was this. Mel showed his prototype for what would have been a Max FX Jason Voorhees, which would have been absolutely amazing. The mummy is great too, and so is the Wolfman, but that Jason is really cool. I'm really glad that he got to share these, even if it's just in a video interview, all these years later. We really appreciate you for sharing that, Mel. So that's the story of the Max FX Freddy. Matchbox made a crucial error and would basically kill off what would have been a great toy line. It's sad, but at least now we know the truth of what happened. I do really wish I had this figure as it's really cool and the story just makes me appreciate it so much more. But once again, that's the story of the Max FX Freddy Krueger figure. I really appreciate you watching this video, and I hope you learned something. 
and if you've got a max FX, let me know in the comments section below. Take care, guys. This is Christian from Planet CHH, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. To get behind-the-scenes photos, videos, and music, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month.